Welcome back to San Diego Market Movers. I'm your host, Jason Yoss. I'm here again today with Maxwell Ventura. Maxwell, again, great to see you. Jason, thanks for having me. So Maxwell and I were talking all things real estate, and one of the points that he brought up is how important it is to be conservative with your listing price. Maxwell, break it down on what you meant. Yeah, it's super important, especially with the residential market, because the emotional component is so prevalent. So when we go to market, just by coming in, really there's a sweet spot. You really want to be between 5 to 10% okay. under whatever the perceived market value is for the home. And the agent's going to do their due diligence and, and look at all the comparables. But when you come in too low, then you really, I mean, I, I, like, I try to put it in my position, right? I don't like when other agents do that. And during the pandemic, there was a time where everyone was expecting offers to come in 100, 200,000 right, above list price. So you want to come in at a price that seems to make sense, but just a little bit under because it really attracts a lot of attention from all of the potential buyers out there. The purpose of that is to, to get in as many of those buyers through the doors. You want them writing offers. And then if if the strategy is to you know bid things up, if that's what the, the seller wants to do, then we can go ahead and do that. There has been so many times I can count where even one of my clients writing an offer has said, this is my top price, that's it, and then the counter comes back and we end up going higher. I mean, it's just, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but it, just, it happens. So you want to get as many people in there that first weekend, as soon as you go to market, and you do that by coming in a little bit under list market price. So when you list a little bit under, obviously you're driving a lot of traffic, and presumably you're getting more offers. Are you telling your clients, look, now that I've got a lot of offers, we're going for the top price, or is there something else you're telling them to look at when going through multiple offers? It's, it's really up to them. At the end of the day, it's their decision. I want to help guide them to that decision so they feel good about it. So the main one of the main things that I'm doing is as soon as those offers come in, I'm reviewing each of them diligently, and then I'm able to present every little aspect, every term. And also, I want to find out about the potential buyers themselves, their families. So uh, I want to find out everything that I can, present all the information to my client, and then help them make the best decision. Let me put you on the spot here a little bit. Terms versus price. Do you have a preference? I mean, obviously in the best of both worlds, you get the best of everything, but give me your feedback. What do you like the best to see in an offer? It's, it's all relative. Like it's, it would be hard to say, I know you're probably looking for one answer over the other. <laughs> right. But I mean, there's, first of all, I mean, how many terms are there in a contract? Right. Right. There's dozens and dozens and dozens. So it depends on the terms. Um, but it, I mean, it's, it's all important because some terms could be very strong, but they don't mean so much right. versus like another term, a removing appraisal contingency could mean a lot. Removing appraisal contingency could also mean nothing if the price is low in the first place. Right. So right. there's just, there's so many variables hard to, hard to answer that. And I think that's right. why it's important for the agent to be able to decipher what terms are valuable and what are not. It's great feedback. It's great for you to peel back the onion so other people can get a good idea of what a savvy agent does when dissecting multiple offers and setting their client up for success. Maxwell, thanks for joining me. Everybody out there, thanks for tuning in to Market Movers. We'll catch you next week.